on the medical watch, saving a renowned Chicago sculptor. Medical reporter Dina Bear has the story of the artist and his creative doctor. Richard Hunt's pieces are on display all over the world, and the 86-year-old has more in the works. But after a sudden heart emergency nearly ended his long career, it took some imagination in the operating room to save the sculptor's life. The job takes some grit. Surrounded by scraps in this Northside workshop, there's nothing fragile about the sweeping sculptures that take shape here. Or the 86-year-old who brings them to life. Since the 1950s, you know, I developed a way of working, looking at art and all that. Richard Hunt grew up in Chicago. Even as a young man, he always had an eye for the abstract. Like I'll say to people, well, I make pieces that are coffee table size or plaza size, I mean, whatever. His workshop could be considered a piece of art as well. It's an old electric substation that once powered city streetcars. You can spot some of his pieces around town, like the stainless steel free form suspended above LaSalle Street. Richard's most recent public commission stands tall in Bronzeville, the Ida B. Wells National Monument, Light of Truth. Okay. The sculptor's hands are always at work, often after his assistants have left for the evening. And I was right here. In late 2020, uh, Richard was sanding when he suddenly uh, fell to the ground. All of a sudden, I'm backwards. He was able to phone for help and was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. And then I met you. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So Richard came in with a very serious life-threatening emergency, an aortic dissection. The major artery supplying blood to Richard's organs was about to rupture. The typical course of action would be immediate open heart surgery, but the fall he took resulted in bleeding around his brain. The blood thinners we would need to give him to put him on the heart-lung machine would also very likely make the head bleed worse and that could potentially you know be uh, fatal for him as well with traditional surgery off the table you know he uses a lot of creativity in what he does and sometimes as surgeons actually often as surgeons we need to be uh, creative in the things that we do your side is okay the rib yeah 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 no that's I, okay. you, you, I don't even feel it anymore you, good you, dr. Yeah. Chris Mehta no, had to improvise I, with a less invasive approach so this is a um, synthetic woven graft uh, with a metal frame around it that conforms to some degree. The Northwestern Medicine cardiac surgeon delivered the large stent through a catheter to reinforce Richard's aorta and restore proper blood flow. Truthfully, we're not certain you know, how it would go, but um, fortunately, we're able to reestablish blood flow to the true lumen and um, you know, he did well after that. This is kind of my odds and ends uh, shelf. I did not know, you know, how important of a sculptor he was until, um, you know, he very casually mentioned it actually, you know, a couple of days after, after surgery. Oh, well, I have to get back to my art studio. These small pieces, uh, again, things in iron. Really interesting. Yeah. yeah. I like this I, I, one. I, this one's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. You know, after recovering and all, I'm more back on the track I was on. There's much more work to be done. So how tall is it going to be? Yeah, yeah. so, so it'll, it'll, it'll be about um, 10 feet tall. Titled Bird Book, Hunt's latest public commission is in small-scale model form at the moment. But the piece uh, will grow and ultimately land at the new Barack Obama Presidential I'm Center on Chicago's south side. Obviously, I can't say enough about the good doctor. Yeah, again, so appreciate you yeah. doing, doing yeah, what you've here. done for me. <laughs> Yes, indeed. It's good to see you. Dr. Mehta was so inspired by his patient. I took my wife and my daughter to his exhibition at the Art Institute of Chicago, and so that was a really important moment for me, you know, bringing my young daughter there. It's an honor for me to be involved in his care, really. Yeah, well, it means a lot to me. I mean, that, you know, my life and work uh, it goes on. Richard says he plans to complete his sculpture for the Obama Presidential Center in about six months, and he has no plans to slow down. Back to you.